The fire ants have formed the body of a dead cockroach. They are hurriedly chewing the carcass so they can quickly carry it home. But soon a black crazy ant appears on the spot drawn by the smell of the dead cockroach. And as soon as it gets the taste of the cockroach, it begins to act hysterically. But the fire ants are ready to tackle any intruder who dares to get too close to the cockroach. However, more and more black crazy ants begin to appear. And soon the temptation of the juicy cockroach meat wins over the fear of the ferocious fire ants. And so the black crazy ants begin to make serious effort to get a piece of the cockroach meat. But the aggressive fire ants drive away all of the black crazy ants walker that they come across. But with each passing second, the black crazy ants get more and more crazier in their effort to steal away the dead cockroach from the fire ants. The continuous attack by the black crazy ants causes the fire ants to leave the cockroach and run after the black crazy ants until only one of the fire ants is left to defend the dead cockroach. The lone fire ant walker tries its best to keep the black crazy ants away. But the black crazy ants, emboldened by their increasing number, begin attacking the fire ant walker. Still, the fire ant tries to hold on her ground. She begins to sprinkle her venom at the enemies. But she is ferociously pulled down on the ground by a black crazy ant walker. The black crazy ant continues to attack her. But then another fire ant walker returns back. Seeing the two fire ants together, the black crazy ants leave for a moment. But are soon back and forces one of the fire ants to leave. But the other fire ant valiantly tries to defend the dead cockroach from the black crazy ants. The deadly venom spray of the fire ant forces the black crazy ants to run away. For a moment it appears that the fire ant is winning. But just then the black crazy ants uses their sacred weapon, formic acid spray. And the very next moment the fire ant can be seen running away in pain. Back on the ground, it looks like the black crazy ants have taken control of the dead cockroach. But then another fire ant walker returns back following the pheromone trial leading to the cockroach. But it is also fiercely attacked by the black crazy ants and is driven away from there. Just when things are looking easy for the black crazy ants, a lepisciota walker appears. Tensing the presence of the lepisciota walker, the black crazy ants tries hurriedly to carry away the cockroach. But the cockroach is too heavy for the black crazy ants to drag away with ease. The bigger and more powerful Lepisciota ant begin to attack them. But still the black crazy ants try their best to fight back. But they are ultimately chased away by the Lepisciota ants. But strangely both the Lepisciota ant soon leave the cockroach and move away. Sensing the opportunity, the black crazy ants arrive in full numbers and begin moving away the dead cockroach. But just a few yards away, the black crazy ants meet another group of rival ants, the small Fedole ants. And the smell of the dead cockroach is even drawing the majors towards the place. But the black crazy ants are not willing to lose their hard on food to these small ants. They begin a wild attack on the Fedole ants, forcing them to retreat to their nearby nest. Even the Fedole majors are being forced to back down and run away. After successfully defending the dead cockroach from the attack of the Fedole ants, the black crazy ants begin acting with electrified speed and energy. It looks like they do not want the Lepisciotas to return back. Carrying the dead cockroach with them, the black crazy ants hurriedly move away and disappear in the distance far away.